Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Fix. Today we will discuss the relationship between the DD Form 254, how it relates to the solicitation process, identify focus areas, and provide additional resources. The DOD Contract Security Specification, or simply referred to as the DD Form 254, is used to communicate security requirements to industry when a contract requires access to classified information. For those of you unfamiliar with what the form looks like, an example of it can be seen here. The 2018 version of the form was used to create this presentation due to access challenges on the AFNET. During the solicitation phase, a DD Form 254 is required by DOD and U.S. Air Force Industrial Security Policy. The form identifies baseline security requirements of the contract and allows a prospective contractor to submit a proposal in accordance with necessary security requirements. The solicitation DD Form 254 must be coordinated and executed in accordance with U.S. Air Force Industrial Security Policy. Upon contract award, a new DD Form 254 is to be drafted, coordinated, and executed. You may ask yourself, do I have to complete this form? The answer is relatively simple. Typically, the DD Form 254 is created by requirement owners and coordinated prior to being sent for final certification of either a contracting officer or authorized designee. Much like most forms, there are formal instructions that can be accessed within this video's description. Although you may not create or coordinate the form as an acquisition professional, it is recommended to be aware of specific areas to identify errors prior to placing the document on contract. This knowledge assists in preventing security violations, work stoppage, or contract modifications due to form errors. Next, we will briefly go over some high points of the form. There are five main focus areas. The first part of the form I would like to highlight is reflected here in red. If you see that block 1A is showing as none, this will prompt a question as to whether or not the contract requires access to classified information. Block 2C is where the solicitation number should appear and include the date in which the proposals are due. The second focus area is highlighted here in green. For solicitation DD Forms 254, company names may not appear. Most of the time, but not all, you will see TBD or to be determined in these areas as there may be multiple proposals. This section is completed on the award of the DD Form 254. The third area, highlighted here in blue, is typically completed by the requirement owner. If there are questions about any of these check boxes, please contact either your security manager or requirement owner. Next is block 13, highlighted in yellow. Block 13 contains additional information, such as identification of security classification guides, but also a place where you will find coordination signatures. The requirement owner typically completes this portion of the form. At a minimum, you should see a security professional signature. There are times where additional signatures are required, but that is dependent on the type of requirements, such as special access programs, or sensitive compartmented information. Coordination with security professionals is critical as they have the ability to validate the contractor's facility clearance status, storage capability, or any other restrictions. Security professionals also have the ability to flag any contractor who does not possess the correct facility clearance level. If you find that the solicitation DD Form 254 does not have a security professional signature, it is cause to return it to the requirement owner for proper coordination. Finally, there is the certification block highlighted in orange. This is where the contracting officer or designee can execute the form in block 17. The form is not completed until it is signed. Once electronically signed, the PDF version of the form locks. The contracting officer can delegate the certification block on this form in accordance with the requirements found in U.S. Air Force Industrial Security Policy. 
please contact your servicing security manager for additional details on what is required to properly delegate the DD Form 254 certification. This concludes this presentation. Stay tuned for a follow-up 5-minute fix at a later date to discuss Contract Award DD Form 254. Also, browse from some of our other 5-minute fix videos on our channel. Have a great day.